okay i want to welcome you to another uh, episode of our uh, grass cutter business uh, training series and in today's episode i'll be bringing to you the beginners challenges to starting grass cutter farming in nigeria and this has to do with what are the challenges faced by newbie or beginner that is about to start grass cutter farm business in Nigeria. Uh, before we move further, my name is Oludele Atunishi. I shall be your presenter in this uh, uh, presentation uh, looking at beginners challenges to starting grass cutter farm business in Nigeria. And this uh, training is brought to you courtesy of Farm Sense Grass Cutter Base. Okay. I will introduce myself and the title or the topic of today's uh, training series uh, presentations Beginners Challenges to Starting Grass Cutter Farm Business in Nigeria uh, Every business has a challenge, especially if you are a beginner starting it uh, Beginner always have one or two challenges that may scare them away from starting however there is no challenges in life that is unsurmountable that cannot be overcome knowing it is the first thing and then taking step to overcome it before you go into that business because when you know the challenges that you may face in a business you will prepare yourself well to tackle or to subdue such uh, challenges uh talking about these challenges it's not a challenge that cannot be subdued or that cannot be managed or uh manage or take care of their manageable challenges in fact it's a matter of fact there are challenges that just to give you better knowledge if it comes you will it gets you prepared so that you will not be caught uh on aware okay so having said this let's uh move on to the presentation proper what are the uh, challenges faced by a uh, beginner that is about to start grass cutter farm business in nigeria grass cutter farm business challenges we look at number one high cost of farm setup such as housing uh of a, of a truth there is always a price to be paid because you can't raise grass cutter without a proper housing uh no matter whatsoever you are how no other way to eat either you are going for a, 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 a extensive intensive or any way however uh we know that the most recommended housing method is intensive which involves either wall concrete uh, housing cage or floor concrete cage or uh, uh, high uh, mesh cage or wooden cage any of these housing methods will require some form of uh, financial commitment into it and among other things is that the bigger your for your potential pharmacy the bigger uh you want to start with what uh how you want to start with the bigger or the bigger the expenses for example now if you are starting with uh one colony of a grass cutter farm the amount of money you spend on housing cannot be compared to someone starting with 10 20 50 colonies do you get it now so uh with the colony of grass cutter you want to start with with the timing the amount of money the cost you have to uh, be ready to incur or to pay and this cost of farm setup span around two major things like this year talking about housing and breed uh, breeding stock talking about housing that is the kind of house you want to make for your grass cutter a wall concrete cage of uh, four or five and deck and also four or five deck of the five units or six units do you get it now for example now if it is four let's say four deck that means that 
four grass gutter in a fatty row and then unit of such maybe five units that means that four times uh, five that is talking about 20 uh, uh, pen or talking about 10 20 cubicle for your grass cutter determine the number or the unit uh, of, uh, of of your uh, cage will determine by how many uh, colony are you bringing in so I keep telling you that the number of colony of grass cutter you are bringing in will inform you the, how big the house has to be so and then the bigger the house the bigger the cost do you get it now so we have the high cost of farm setup such as housing if you are going for brick concrete you know you have to spend on block spend on cement spend on spend on iron um iron for the doors do you get it now so and then considering the workmanship of the brick layer iron bender as in whether that will do one or two things for you and then buying block buying cement and many other things that we make up for such and now if you are not going for uh, concrete or uh, a housing method you want to go for uh, iron cage you know to get iron cage you uh, of a uh, four deck four deck let me say let you assume four deck of a grass cutter cage we will be spending average of 80,000 naira for one cage so now assuming you want to get like four or five of that you know how much it will cost and now i won't know that okay going for uh iron cage well or concrete cage or you want to come for wooden cage whichever one you want to go for you will spend money however the wooden cage may be the cheapest if it is well cheapest and durable if it is well done okay and the best are uh, like one of my boss will always advise that the best uh cage you can make is concrete cage if you are on your home permanent uh, farm land that is will be uh, the advisable but if you are not on your own permanent uh, farm land you want to rear farm uh grass cutter from your backyard inside at the tenant or in a rented uh, place then you go for onion or wooden cage and this will reduce your cost and then the one that will drastically use to reduce your cost is the one of the wooden cage i think in one of the series i will show you the samples of wooden cage that you can go for and that will reduce your cost of uh spend cost on a uh, housing okay now that you have decided the kind of housing you want then you will know how much are you going to spend based on how many units of such housing you want to uh create or you want to build now that you have known the housing the cost of a uh, your housing per unit then the cost of a per unit will be determined by the number of breeds you are bringing in if you are bringing in one colony you know the amount of money you spend on housing will be different from the someone bringing in two colony three colony five colony or ten colonies of a uh, animals i mean the grass cutter so now the breeding stock now is another uh where you pay the price you know high cost of farm setup such as housing and also breed stock breeding stock breeding stock we are talking about your getting your animal that you will start use you will use to start uh for breeding in your farm now getting a breeding stock of uh, one colony of grass cutter which is made up of either one male four uh female or two male uh three female or sometimes you may go for two fem two male four female getting one colony of this uh combination you'll be needing something from hundred thousand era and above to get a good uh breed and a, a good breed of a colony of grass cutter you'll be need you'll be in need of as much as hundred thousand naira, let's say between hundred thousand naira and one hundred thirty thousand naira for winners, and you'll be need between one hundred fifty thousand naira to one hundred uh, sixty seventy thousand naira for hard dot. Knowing full well that winners are 
age between two to four months meaning that if the female they are two months the male will be three months and if the female they are three months the male will be four months and the adult they have between the age of five to uh seven months or sometimes six to seven months but between five to seven months meaning that if the female they are five months then the male will be six months and we are the female they are six months the female will be uh seven months and uh, these are the breed that they are the point of mating meaning that within one month they are ready within one month in your farm they are ready to start mating and then ready for uh start giving birth within the next uh, um five months that is which is their gestation period now that is number one challenges the high cost of farm setup such as housing and breeding stock so however these are the inevitable costs that you cannot avoid if you are ready all what you need to do that you can start small either start with one colony or two colony so the smaller your colony you are starting with the smaller the amount of money you spend on housing but if you have the capacity you have the resources you have like as much as uh, 500,000 naira to 700,000 naira then you are good to go with that you can get your housing and you can get to your breeding and these are the costs that they are not recurring do you get it now you don't need to build the house again except for expansion or uh, expansion particularly for the housing and breeding also when you buy your stock if there's no any issue in your farm these are the animals that will keep on multiplying themselves so they are good uh price that need to be paid so that is one of the challenges that many newbie complain about starting grass cutter farming and another challenge is access to good breed stock yes there are many farmer out there or there are many grass cutter out there that they are not good breed stock that cannot give you the best result that you will want in your farm when talking about good breed stock we are talking about breed stock that are not him breeding that will not bring a uh, give birth to weak animal talking about a very active animal both male and uh, female very active male very active uh, female very uh, animal that are fertile that have the potential of giving back to average of three uh cotton in their first birth and above and not only that they have the animal that can give you strong and uh, healthy uh, offspring that will make your farm productive uh, productive and profiting so access to good breed stock so if guests not take it, you just go and buy weak animal and then before you know it you amount to waste of money and they are good for nothing than to hit them so and i believe that you don't want to uh, experience this so that is one of the challenges many newbie they have uh, among the reasons why many newbie fall into this problem is because they don't have mentor they don't have someone that they can look up on to to receive advice from or don't have someone that can direct you them to a practicing farmer do you get now because you know what there are some people that pick this animal in the wild and they sell it and when they don't have a good history of the animal so you will buy just anything okay and what again access to trusted uh, farmer this is also related to the immediate point we have talked about now access to trusted farmer is talking about not being for victim of uh scam there are many people online on facebook on telegram on uh on social media platform or treating themselves as a farmer but they are liars they are looking for people they will defraud of their hard-earned money they will tell you that they have a uh, grass cutter at a ridiculous price and what they will tell you is that pay half of half, half, half of the money and then when they deliver you will pay the balance before you know it both you spend the, you send the half money of the animal both the half of half of half cost of the animal and the animal you did not receive i've had a lot of uh complaint from some people that someone collected from them money that they asked them to send 
half of the money is talking about sending 50,000 naira and they're telling them that when they bring the animal they will balance the 50,000 naira so you imagine paying 50,000 to someone and expecting that your animal will arrive and the animal is not arriving your money is gone and you try to call the person the number is not for uh coming again so access to trusted farmer and like i do keep saying it if you must have access to trusted farmer that will give you good bridge stock and that will not scam you of your money then you need someone a mentor that you can look up onto do you get it now or you create a method of payment method that will safeguard your money from being uh uh from you that will safeguard you from being scammed of your hard earned uh, money so these are the we are another uh uh challenges of the new begin new beginner into a uh, grass cutter farmer uh, business and another one is invasion of predators such as ants and reptile so these are the main predator uh, problem of grass cutter grass cutter cannot defend themselves against an uh, ant and at the same time they cannot defend themselves against uh, reptiles and talking about reptile talking about snake in particular and what you need to do around your farm area you need to so if you are the type that have a building uh, structure around your in a in your compound then what you need to do that dig uh, a kind of trough around about your farm then put a uh, engine uh, hole there as in put water and engine oil there to uh, to prevent ant coming and also be observant try to as much as possible not to throw oil uh oil as in the palm oil or uh, leftover food especially uh leftover food by yourself or by your animal avoid littering your farm environment with such you get now and at the same time plant anti-reptile plant around your farm such as uh, this uh, there are plants that they repel um, reptile especially snake around the your uh, farm area so all this uh, we prevent the, the invasion of any of this so like i said uh, avoid uh littering your farm environment with oil leftover food either by your animal or by human being so that you not attract ant to your farm environment and not only that make sure that you uh, you draw the dig a trough around your farm area and you fill it with uh black oil and water so that it will not allow the ant to cross over into your farm that is for people that may have building uh, structure for their farm but in the absence of that if you are just doing it in the particular area all you need to do just be a spectator there be uh observant of your environment and then care for your animal and there will be no any invasion of this predator and what against security from theft so this is very important uh, you cannot imagine that you expose your farm uh, you know you don't know which washing and uh, don't forget that grass cutter is a favorite favorite bush meat for everybody so if you don't provide security they cannot defend themselves so you are the one that will have to provide security for your farm area such as fence padlock and um, just everything that is required you have to provide this security from theft to your farm is that okay i think that is the main uh basic uh, challenges to new beginner starting grass cutter farm in nigeria if you can take care of all this and these are the manageable challenges as you can see talking about high cost of farm we are ready to there's no business you want to set up that you not spend a particular amount of money good money into it and this is a good business that you can start you don't even need to spend money on feeding like any other one. for example if you are starting poultry raising just 50 uh, pieces of a uh, broiler you know what it costs you within uh, two weeks in terms of housing you must make housing 
you must get your animal you must feed them just so many other things you have to do to get it now and so there is no any farm produce especially animal husbandry that doesn't have its own challenges but these are the few challenges that beginner may have concerning grass cutter and if you can position yourself to see how you can manage this discover that you'll be profiting in your grass cutter farming once again it has been the first of Uludele attorney ship i want to appreciate you and one thing i want to tell you is that if you have enjoyed any of this always like comment share and subscribe to this video so that you can be notified anytime we upload any other educative and interesting video like this on our uh, youtube uh, channel that is farm sense grass cutter base and also maybe you want to join any of our uh, paid and free online training then all you need to do is simply come to my dm or to my whatsapp dm for detail using the number below plus two three four eight one eight eight zero zero eight two five two when you come to my dm that you want to uh you want to have access to any of our training either premium that is paid training in form of video in form of ebook or our free training through our whatsapp uh, broadcast uh, list and also through our uh, facebook uh, page facebook group and our telegram group whereby we dish out tips on a daily basis in fact the telegram group is growing is growing by the day as at today we have over 160 people in that group where we share uh information tips and often time we have online interactive session where we ask question or you uh, hear we ask question uh we share other information in a live interactive uh, session so you are feel free to come to my whatsapp dm to ask for any of this training opportunity either free or paid through ebook through video through telegram through whatsapp through your uh, youtube and also through facebook and other social media platform that we are using to disseminate information around grass cutter business once again thank you don't forget to like to comment to share and subscribe to this uh, youtube channel for you to be notified anytime we upload a new video on our channel thank you once again god bless you see you at the top and see you next week for another uh interesting insightful and educating uh video training series uh this channel god bless you see you at the top bye